What's going on, y'all? This is Timony. We are back with another video. As I already promised you from the beginning that I was going to be coming back here with the review, Yeah, Love and Hip Hop South Africa, as it premiered on the 27th. Uh, that was last Monday. I'm back. We're going to be talking about that. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but... Yo, it's a lot. Okay. And overall, I don't even know what to say. And honestly, if I would have to rate it, I'll probably just give it like a like four out of ten because I don't know. This is a flop. I'm glad that you know this show was able to transition to South Africa, and I'm glad that we able to see a little bit of a talent. Okay, like a reject type of talent that we're seeing right now on Love and Hip Hop. But to some, it can be a, a come up. For people like uh, 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 Money Badu, it can be a come up for them. But, you know, these people, we didn't even know anything about them. But let's just start with the first scene. As we've seen on the first scene, we see uh, Gigi Lemayne having uh, to meet up with uh, Money Badu. This is one thing that I'm already seeing. I feel like everything is already scripted and they are just being, you know, because let, let me be honest with you, Gigi Lemayne has her own circle of friends. But if this is for the business, you're going to have to be friends with this person for the show. I feel like her, the chemistry between her and Mandy Badu was not even that great. But they meet up for the first time. Uh, pretty much they were, they were talking about how the other one got nominated but didn't win. And the other one was really excited for uh, um, Gigi Lemayne for winning the SA Hip Hop Awards. And talking about the industry in general. And also, Gigi Lemayne is inviting Mani Badu on this private dinner that he's hosting, that she's hosting um, uh, for, for that. You know, she's also talking about wanting to win a third award um, because I guess this is the second award that she has won. I was like, well, at least somebody is doing something. I mean, to me, it looks like Gigi Lemayne is going to be the star of the show, honestly, because I felt like more content was coming out from her. <laughs> But let me tell you, after watching Love and Hip Hop South Africa, I feel like I need to go get my teeth done. I'm so sorry. I feel like I need to go get my teeth done because they are they are fucked up. Okay, as much as their teeth are all fucked up, I've I've seen all of them. I never seen anyone with a good teeth. Their teeth are same as my teeth. You know, I'm not even at the level of these people, and they can't even fix their teeth. I'm not the like. <laughs> Well, Gigi Lemayne, at least she's working on fixing her teeth. But the others, yo, just stress. Okay, we see that on that first episode, on that on that first scene. On the second scene, we see Daleks talks about getting back in the scene while uh, with the DJ. What's his name? The guy, Spinks, DJ Spink, Spinkter or Springster, whatever that DJ is. Um, he's talking about getting in the scene, and also this DJ comes with the music. He's actually working on some uh, a, a few tracks that he wanted um, Dallas to, you know, to give a little bit of an opinion about how he feels about the track. And I'm like, you asking the advice uh, from the wrong person this person has been silenced for so many years and now like you ask him for advice from from the wrong person Adalas was also asking him about some other event that he missed and he was explaining to him that he missed the event because uh, his father was sick and that's probably part of the storyline that you're probably using at that point so uh Dallas listened to the music and give a little bit of advice of what to do with the music and um they go to this event that is organized by Gigi um, it's like a little dinner thing that's going on that she organized to have this event. Everybody actually pulled up on that event. Let me tell you, that dinner was chaos. It was so chaotic. I can't even, like, it was, it was a whole mess. The way everything was, I'm like, oh my God, this is so dis unorganized. People interrupting each other. We couldn't hear them talking. It was a whole lot of mess. So, once you know, once they're here, everybody keeps pulling up. Dallas pulls up with the uh, spring star or whatever his name is. You know, they all coming in, and guess who walks in? Mani Badu, as she was invited to the event in the first place, she walks in looking a mess. You know, she walks in in this leather, ugly looking torn leather. I'm like, did you even polish this? This looks crazy like you look crazy right now, and you're gonna be talking about yo, I ate them all with my outfit. I'm like, where, lady. You looked a mess. You looked a mess in that old letter. Like, that was crazy. That was crazy. I'm sorry. Hey, you, you need, you need, a, you need, a, you need, a, you need, a, 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 what you want to call them people that have, you need a stylist or something. Okay. Honestly, I felt like everyone needs a stylist. 
Everybody was there, Gigi with mouth full of braces. Everybody was there having fun. Then Fifi Cooper walks in, okay? I'm like, whoa, the way they made it look dramatic, I'm like, she walked in like she was, I'm like, that was not even a grand entrance, but y'all, y'all are so good at making things look dramatic. Zooming her from the shoes all the way up, I'm like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> and then she walks in, it's, G- it's uh, Fifi Cooper, okay? Uh, I'm like, okay, well, maybe this drama between Fifi Cooper and Gigi LeMayne is probably going to bring a little bit of... Uh, you know, because this is like an old freaking ancestors drama. This thing's happened back in 2016. Gigi brings up the old drama that she felt like uh, Fifi Cooper was not being supportive. You know, she was mad that she got signed to her former label. And Fifi was like, well, I was kind of surprised because I thought that you was going to support me. And all of a sudden... You are the one. We're supporting this women's movement or whatever that was that they had going on when she got dropped off from the label. We thought that you know, we we in this thing together. And then you, among all the people, got signed by these people. You got signed by all these enemies. Gigi's like, no. What you need to do is get my name out your mouth. That's what you need to do. And this one is like, no. I have never... I have never talked about you. I've never talked about you. The one who talked about. I'm like, so are we gonna be going back and forth about who's talking about who, who's talking about what? I'm like, this is, this is just stupid. You guys can just hack it out. Now you're on love and hip hop. Hack it out and talk about making music. Talk about something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, they bringing all this trauma, and I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be part of the story line. I guess the first episode was actually a disaster. And a low quality setup. I'm not gonna lie. And um, these people need to do better. I can tell the jokes, you know, the storyline and the jokes is actually being scripted allegedly. I'm not gonna get into details of that, but I can see. You know, we all know that uh, live in hip hop Atlanta was scripted. I think this South Africa is also doing the same thing. You know, this is to give it that little bit of an edge in the, in the viewership. Well, we'll see. Maybe the, the season one of this might pull the views but if it's not honestly i don't even think that they'll do season two but i mean we're here to watch maybe this is just you know uh, well, the first impression actually lasts the, the episode one honestly if i wouldn't it wasn't that interesting to me okay let let me see them get into the studio and make music all these people that we've never known let me see them come in and make music i don't want to see you know, trauma, this, that, and that, and that. I want to see them people work. I want to see them people get back in the industry and making a good music, getting in love, and all that. They can bring all that trauma here and there, but you know, we're not going to be dragging the whole season talking about Fifi Cooper and Gigi Lamine. We're not going to do that, okay? Show us something else that's already in, that's interesting other than showing us this BS, okay? All right, guys, that was episode one of Love and Hip Hop South Africa. I hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'm going to be reviewing episode two, actually, uh, well, this week, actually. All right, so go ahead and hit the like and hit the subscribe button to support. I'll see you guys with another video next time. I got to go now. Peace out.